All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of uh, Great Millstone, and our peace and salutation to the Akim and to the elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of this earth, pushing the truth and faith and sincerity. All right, you know, it's going to be a little quick little lesson, you know, based upon, you know, Edomite that I work with, all right, because he catching hell, all right, you know, because. I was, I was finding out about him because a lot of it's a lot of uh, talk going around about in my job. All right, about this dude. All right, and he told me some things himself as well. But you know, long story short, uh, he's living out of a motel. All right, he's he's broke. You know, living check to check. All right, his wife cheating on him. CPS took his kids away. His wife strung out on drugs. You know, he fucking running through three packs of fucking cigarettes a day. You know. He saw, he saw his stressor, man. Like, he, he, he losing. I, right? he saw his finish. Okay, you know, he can't even, he can't even afford to, to really buy himself tissue and napkins because he takes them. I see him take them, you know, from the job, all right? Because, you know, my job, it, it has a, a company that supplies us with those, you know, type of supplies, all right. And uh, he basically goes in there and he takes what he needs so he can take him home with him. All right. And some days, you know, he 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 can't really afford himself, you know, to afford anything to eat. All right. And so he'll go to the uh, to the kitchen or whatnot. And, you know, he just searching through the refrigerator looking for some leftover food that somebody didn't probably left over for probably about three, four days. All right. Now he going to eat it. All right. Now, if 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 I was telling you this, all right, and, and if I and I didn't tell you that he was an Edomite, all right, which is a so-called white person, if I didn't tell you that he was white, all right, if I just left that part out, you would have said, "Oh, that's Jake." All right, he gotta be a, he gotta be a black dude going through all of that. But no, this is Esau going through this, all right, which is crazy because this man was once, you know, great, all right. If you go back to the 1950s, even before that, when they had when they when they had us as slaves, you know, he was something. All right, but now the Most High starting to take away everything that he got. All right, slowly. All right, but it's gonna happen. All right, because every every everything he has gotten, you know, he he stole it. All right, so it's it's, it's time, you know, for 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 all that shit, you know. For basically time for him to lose to lose everything he got. Alright. This is uh Deuteronomy 37. And Yahweh thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemy and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Now right, which curses are he talking about? He's talking about the curses that was put on the uh the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are the Israelites. And you can read about those curses in Deuteronomy the twenty eighth chapter. Alright, he said that he was gonna basically these curses was, was gonna start getting put on our enemies all right our enemies which is the so-called white man our main enemy all right but uh the rest of our enemies are these other nations you know they are our enemies they're not with us you know they're all against us but he said these curses are going to be upon them all right so that's why this guy is going through those things you know the curses is <laughs> the curses are getting put on these devils man and that's a beautiful thing that's a beautiful thing like I said, cause this devil, he was, he was, he was once living good in the earth, all right. But now these low-level Edomites, these low-level white people, all right, they starting, they starting to feel that here. They starting to see what we experience right, as a people for so many years, all right. And they can't take it. They can't take it, man. They not, they not doing so good, all right. Uh, this, this leads me to my. Uh, to the next scripture, all right. And I didn't really expect this to be a long lesson. I just wanted to speak on this. But this is Lamentations 1 and 21. They have heard that I sigh. There is none to comfort me. All my enemies heard of my heard of my trouble. They are glad that thou hast done it. Yeah, this was this was talking about us when we was going through everything we was going through. You know, these other nations they was happy. All right, they didn't give they didn't give a damn. You know, oh look at them niggas. All right, them niggas out there robbing, stealing, and killing. But it, it, it was his fault. All right? 
He destroyed us as a people. All right, because the Most High put the spirit on him to do it because the Most High said that Esau is his sword. All right, the wicked is his sword. All right, he uses Esau, the so called white man, to put punishment on us. All right, but still, through him, all right, it, it, it destroyed our people and made them who they are today. All right, they learned all that shit from Esau. All right, Esau forced them to be this way. All right, and it says, Thou will bring the day that thou hast called, that they shall be like unto me. Let all their wickedness come before thee, and do unto them as thou hast done unto me for all thy for all my transgressions. For my sires are many, and my heart is faint. So yeah, he says, let them be like unto me. Do unto them, most I punish them just like you punished us for our sins. Don't basically don't let them go. Do not let them go free. All right, do not overlook their sins. All right, fuck them up just like you fucked us up. You know, it's basically what the scripture is saying. All right, because when we broke the law, statutes, and commandments. You know, the Most High, He always put us in captivity. All right? He always judged us as a nation. All right, every time. All right, every time we went off. And Deuteronomy 28 chapter told us that if we if we don't obey the law, statutes, and commandments, what was going to happen unto us? You can read all them curses, and, and and surely every every one of those curses came upon us. All right, when we transgress. All right, and now Esau. Man, this is this is this is a wicked dude. You see, he he's he's fucking up the earth. All right, he's fucking up everything. You know, the water, the air. You know, the food we create, GMOs. You know, he even he even saying that he is the Most High. All right, that's what you're saying. All right, because he he likes the he don't like the the thing that the Most High created. All right, because he always got to create a replica or create something in, in his mind better. All right, he don't like what is set up, all right? So he want to create something on his own to make it seem like that he is the most high, all right? Trying to change genders and shit, you know, making all types of uh, different type of fools, you know, fucking, man, this, this, uh, man, this is too much, bro. All right, and he got homosexual. They were like, bro, this dude got to be judged. He has to be judged. Just like we were judged, he got to be judged, bro. He cannot get off the hook. All right, and and the most size not letting him off the hook. All right, and you can see it. It's it's like the video of Pastor Hart put up about about a, uh, a Edomite. I think that he was uh, living in the shelter. All right, but he had a job. All right, he had a job, bro. So all all this shit's gonna come upon Esau, bro. You know. So uh, next scripture, Ezekiel. Twenty one. Ezekiel twenty one and twenty six. Yeah, Ezekiel twenty one twenty six. Thus said Yahweh Power, remove the diadem and take off the crown. All right. Yeah, this this devil's crown is being removed, man. Slowly but surely, this devil's crown is being taken off his head. All right. And you can see it. They, they man, these Edomites, they're 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 losing. Everything, everything that they loved, you know, which is money, you know, materialistic things, all right, they losing all of that shit, all right. That's why Trump <laughs> talk about making America great again, but this place is done, man. Sorry to tell you. It says, take off the crown. This shall be not the same. Exalt him that is low and abase him that is high. Yeah, exalt him that is low. Who is low? Man, it's talking about the Israelites, all right? First, the elect, all right? Uh, the hopeful elect, and we hope to be of that number. They are, we, we are the low. All right, we on low. We ain't got shit in this inner society, man. We ain't got nothing but the word, all right? That's how, this is how we being exalted because we coming up out of that dead state. We rising up out of that dead state, all right? And we realizing that we are the kings of the earth and that this, this, is, this is our planet. Just like the Most I said, he created the world for us. You no, know, we are his people. We are above all these people. All right, and we coming back, you know, to realization of that. I right? realizing who we are. It said in the base him, but it's high. All right, and who is high? Right, who was higher than Esau? Who got more pride than Esau? All right, say he he exalted himself as the eagle in the book of Obadiah. All right, so the Most High bringing his ass down. All right, it says and I will overturn, overturn, overturn it. And it shall be no more unto unto he, 
until he come whose right it is and that will give it unto him. So the most high, you know, he's overturning his kingdom. All right, he's 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 tearing his kingdom down. All right, he says, and it shall be no more until he come whose right it is. I will give it unto unto him. All right, who is that he? That's talking about Yahweh Shah until he come. Cause he's the one that's gonna return back. All right, this place it said whose right it is. This place is rightfully Yahweh Shah's. All right, he created it. The most high said he put everything under Yahweh Shah. All right, the things in heaven, the things on earth, you know. Yahweh Shah is the king, all right? So he's coming back to take what's rightfully his, all right? And uh, last scripture, Job, uh, Job 20 and 27, the heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him. The increase of his house shall depart and his good shall flow away to the day of his shall flow away in the day of his wrath. All right, yeah, uh, his goods, his goods are starting to be taken away, man. Like I said, everything that he cherishes, everything that he loves, all right, all all that shit is finna start getting taken away. All right, especially when your house shot get back, man, because he he said he taking the crown off everybody's head. Everything is finna be your house shot, man. And the elect too, because the elect are gonna be heirs. All right, so whatever you have a shot, get the elect is gonna get as well. You know. Yeah. So it said, the increase of his house shall depart, and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. And those goods are flowing away. All right, the things that were so easily easy, easily uh, accessible unto them because they had the money, those things are being taken away from them because they ain't got no more money. All right, the the dollar really, man, the dollar ain't shit no more. Uh, it was only a matter of time for that shit to crash, and then the chip was going to be instituted, all right? Which is the mark of the beast mentioned in Revelation, all right? Revelation, the uh, the 16th chapter. No, the 13th chapter. 16th verse, I believe. 16 to 17, all right? Talks about the mark of the beast, all right? It's going to be uh, basically a new type of a money system, for lack of better better words, so, you know? Uh, a way to buy and sell, all right? But yeah, America is finished. Esau is done. All right, you know, that's really all I want to say. You know, just a little quick little lesson. So, you know, I want to give all praise, honor, glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashem, Rachakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone and uh, peace and salutation to the Akim and to the elect that is scattered throughout the four corners of this earth, pushing the truth and faith and sincerity. Shalom.